Hi everyone, it's Liz again. I'm back to share another project with you. Uh, recently I decided to start venturing into card making. Um, I had tried making a few very simple cards, and uh, but I've been watching a few videos on YouTube and I'm just trying to figure out how to make more elaborate cards. So here's my first attempt. And this card here uh, is the image is a gorgeous girl and I fell in love with these images after watching a video by Creative Kelly from Cali. These little stamps are the cutest little things. They truly are. And they actually remind me a lot of my little daughter, um, my youngest daughter. She's got really long hair and she's got the bangs, just like the little girl. And some of the poses that she makes looks just like the stamp, so it's kind of funny. I really like these stamps. They're so adorable. And so, uh, let's see. To start off, Basically, it's uh, the card base is cardstock, vanilla cardstock. It's about five and a half by five and a half. And the paper collection I used is from Die Cuts with a View. It's called Preppy Princess. I really love the colors, the pink and the green with the cream. It's really, really pretty. And what I did here in the corners is I took a flower stencil and I just applied gesso to the stencil, I just kind of like, um, just randomly applied it. And then after I let it dry, I stamped just the tops with light pink ink. Let me zoom in so maybe you can see. There we go. Sorry about that, I'm still trying to figure out how to use this camera. Okay, let's move on to the flower cluster here. This huge pink rose is from I Am Roses. It was a little bit brighter than I'd like, so I dabbed some crackle, I'm sorry, some um, paint, just a acrylic white paint. And these here are from Recollections, and I did the same thing because the green was a little too bright, didn't really go with the papers. So again, I just dabbed a little bit of white paint on the petals. And these little guys right here are all I Am Roses as well. And in the background, I have a doily. I cut out the middle and just placed another piece of uh, the patterned paper there. And then I went ahead and used this flat pearl trim. It's iridescent. I got it at Hobby Lobby. And I just went ahead and used glossy accents all around to uh, glue it on. And uh, let's see. Here, these are all parts of the patterned paper. I just cut strips out and used a square punch to make like the little fishtail banner. I went ahead and stamped happy birthday here. I don't remember where the cinnamon is from. Um, I've had it for a while. I really would have to look. And I just cut three little pearls from the pearl trim and I adhered them to the top. And as far as the image of the girl, I went ahead and stamped that onto cardstock. And this is actually my first attempt at uh, Copic coloring. And I took some tips from Suzanne J. Dean. Uh, I've been watching her channel. And she has some really awesome tutorials on how to color skin and hair. So you guys should really check out her channel. And I just basically watched a couple of videos, took some tips from her. And overall, for my first time, I think I did pretty good. So what I did here, I colored her hair, obviously, and her skin. I did paper piece her dress. On her tights, I didn't really have the right color to match the dress, the right shade of pink. So I just left them white, but I did put glitter stickles on every other stripe. And I did the same thing up here, just added glitter stickles, um, the diamond stickles, I'm sorry. And uh, I guess that's it. I don't know who I'm going to be giving this card to, so I didn't finish the back, the inside. But uh, it'll probably go to either one of my nieces or one of my daughters. Uh, both their birthdays are coming up soon. So anyway, um, I guess this is my project for today. I hope you like it, and I look forward to making many more. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.